Hi, Neil here from Cortana. So today I've got something a bit different for you. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how to deploy the Portana beta for Kubernetes on top of Ranch's K3S and using Metal LB as the load balancer. So in front of me here I have a vanilla Ubuntu server. I can just ping google.com to verify I have network connectivity and DNS resolution, which I do, so that's all good. Uh, first thing I want to do is go to the Rancher K3S website. So here we go, K3S. We want to go to the documentation for the installation, and we want the quick start guide. Now this simple install script is all we need. Uh, this script uh, installs the K3S um, default components, which includes a, a basic load balancer and ingress controller. Uh, however, we don't want to use the built-in load balancer. We want to replace that with Metal LB. So we just have to make a small change to the script. So if we bring up our Ubuntu server and paste in the script, now the change you want to make is just do dash s dash server dash dash no deploy service LB. And that command will basically deploy K3S without the service load balancer. We just run that. That's going to go and download uh, the components and then install K3S. There we go, that's now downloaded and it's now starting K3. Okay, just to check that we have the kube components installed, just do a simple kube ctl to make sure. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's just deploy Portainer and show you what happens when you try and deploy a service with a load balancer when you don't have a load balancer in your cluster. So let's go to the Portainer GitHub page for the uh, Kubernetes beta. Scroll down until you see to deploy Portainer in your cluster and as a node port. And you need to simply copy the instructions here. So the first one is going to download our manifest file. The second one is going to apply that manifest file against the cluster. So there we go. So now we've got Portainer uh, deployed and running in the cluster. You notice here that Portainer is exposed on port 30777 in the cluster. So we go to the browser, 102.168.1.16.30777. It's Portainer, and we have to set up the first the password. And we need to set that we're talking to a Kubernetes endpoint. Now we're prompted to define which of the underlying uh, Kubernetes features do we want to uh, present to the users. In this case, do we want the users to be able to provision persistent volumes? Yes, we do. And do we want the users to be able to use external load balancers? Yes, we do. Now we don't have one, but we're going to see what happens anyway. So save. Okay, so now we go into the cluster. See resource pools, no resource pools in there. We go into applications, no applications. So let's create one. So Nginx, Nginx, scroll down, load balancer, publish a port, port 80, port 80, deploy. So now you see here, it's going to go off and be deployed. So we come in, here we go, it's waiting to be deployed. It's currently pulling the image down, and the load balancer state is pending. We'll refresh here. Uh, what's going to happen here is that this load balancer status is going to sit pending forever. So Portana has said to Kubernetes, Please deploy me an application and assign it to a load balancer. Kubernetes is saying, hmm, I don't have a load balancer uh, defined as available in my system, so I don't know what to do. I'm just going to sit here with that instruction waiting. So you'll see here, the container is now running, but we're still pending, pending, pending. This will sit pending forever. It will simply never time out, it'll just sit pending forever. So let's go and remove this. Now, let's get Metal LB running. So if we go to the Metal LB website, this here it is here, click on installation, and then scroll down until you see installation by manifest. And we simply need to copy these, these instructions line by line. So first thing, this is going to create the namespace uh, inside Kubernetes that will hold the Metal LB components. Now we need to copy this one, which is going to deploy the Metal LB application components and then we need to define the secret that Metal LB needs internally. Okay, so Metal LB is installed, however it is still unusable. 
There is no configuration deployed at this point. So we need to create one. Metal LB config.yml. Now I have a config I've already created, so we just grab that and paste it in here. So here we go, we're creating a config called config. It's going to be in the namespace metal LB system. It's going to be a layer 2 load balance. And we're going to assign IP addresses 192.168.1.17 through 192.168.1.23 as available for use by load balancers. This means that you can create one load balancer for each IP out of this pool. So we save that. Yep. And now we need to apply this, this config to the cluster. So there we go. We simply apply that config. Now, if we go back into Portana, and go into resource pools, you'll see we've now got the Metal LB resource pool and applications. You can see we've got the Metal LB application uh, components. If you go to configurations, you'll see that we've got the config that we created, and here are the settings that we have assigned. Now, if I want to change that and add 24, add another IP address to it, or whatever else I can, and just update it, uh, that's fine from here. So let's now deploy Nginx again. So Nginx, Nginx. Load balancer again, new port, port 80, port 80 this time again, deploy, so same thing, it's going to sit waiting for the, for the container to create, however you'll see immediately we're assigned an IP address, in this case it's dot .18, interesting because the pool we assigned was from 17 through 23, uh, Kubernetes has just chosen port 18, oh sorry, um, IP 18 randomly, so we just wait for this to deploy, there it is running, we can copy this now, come in and paste it into here, you can see here's Nginx running. So what we have here is a single node K3S uh, cluster running the, running the Metal LB load balancer, and Portana is able to, to use that to deploy applications with a load balancer feature.